Hi, I'm Sean. I'm going to assemble the, this base unit part of a wardrobe using the OHO V09 connection system. Um, you'll see that we have connectors on the bottom, on the top. Um, we've slightly changed this prototype to make it, to make it work with the OHO system. So I'll just show you how it goes together. So you let it sit on and slide it into place. It's a little hits hard here. Same on this side. So I'm sit, simply sitting it on top and sliding it in. The feet we have screwed in with the original fittings. Um, it works well and everything can pack away flat from that. And drop the back in. There wasn't a rebate in this before, so we cut a rebate in the hole of the back. And then I have a support that will lock the back in place. And then on the back side, we then put the top. So same, set it in place and slide it back. So that's, that's the base unit all together. Um, what we think is a good idea because we use releasable, we think it's a good idea to put a locking screw in here that will stop it from sliding apart. So just so we've allowed that two locking screws, one in here, one in there, and that will completely lock the unit. Um, it is strong without that what we think is a good idea to keep it all locked together. So to assemble that base section you're talking about two screws. Okay so with this prototype we've developed the drawer box itself to be flat packed um, and to do this we've done a rebate in the front and then we'll slide in. I'll, I'll just put it all together here so you can see. And because we're using a releasable in this, we're attaching the, the base with screws, but I would recommend permanent and a rebate in the back. So see, it. because it's prototype, I've just locked and screws in here. And that's the drawer box complete. Okay, so now we have the base put together with the drawers in it. I've also put the two locking screws in, so that ties it all together. Uh, I'm now going to start on the top section. So we'll start off with gables. We have also rebated the gables to take the backs. And then we have taken the two cross members and put them to the inside.
next part we have taken the back and broken it into three parts. And we slide that into the rebate. stage we'll put the doors on and we'll complete the back and the top. Okay so the next part what we've done is we have attached the doors to the sides uh, and we've also put a rebate in here for additional strength and um, on the bottom of that rebate we've put it down so that locks into the bottom also. So, What we're doing is just putting this in position, sliding it down. And that's it, locked into place. Okay, so we'll now put the other door on. So that's Two doors on, and they will complete up at the top one. So that's it assembled. And we'll put a locking screw then into the pillow. And when you put the locking screw down here, because we're using a release, again that stops it from sliding back but also locks the pillar in better. Going in both sides. And then just finish by attaching your handles on later. And there you have the complete unit. Okay, thanks.